Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, September 26. A car crashes into a home in Levittown, Bucks County. The crash happened around 3 o'clock this morning on the 6,000 block of Bristol Emily Road. There is no word yet on the condition of the driver or if anyone was inside of that home at the time of the crash, but the car left a gaping hole in that house and a lot of damage to the surrounding area. The car actually ended up about 30 feet away on a neighbor's property. Police are trying to figure out what caused the crash. A young girl is safe after her kidnapping in Montgomery County set off an Amber Alert. Police say seven-year-old Giselle Torres was kidnapped from her Elkins Park home yesterday afternoon by her estranged father, Juan Pablo Torres. Police say two other men who were armed and wearing body armor helped in her kidnapping. The girl was found safe in New York City with Torres. And CBS News has learned that today President Trump is expected to nominate federal judge Amy Coney Barrett to fill the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's Supreme Court seat. That's according to multiple sources involved in or familiar with the selection process. If Judge Coney Barrett is confirmed, the 48-year-old would become the youngest justice on the current Supreme Court. Now for a check of the eyewitness weather forecast, here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hi, Matt. Hey there, Jan. Going to be a uh, warmer weekend uh, for our Saturday and Sunday across the Delaware Valley, but it will be a little bit dreary at times, especially here today, where we'll kind of have a couple of scattered rain showers across the region. Taking a look at what you're going to be expecting, though, again, for Saturday and Sunday with those showers today, we'll see temperatures that jump up into the upper 70s for some of us, and then a little bit of fog will develop this evening and linger through the overnight. A little bit of drizzle possibly. Well, especially in the morning on Sunday, but then with some sunshine breaking through the clouds Sunday afternoon, highs will get to around 80 degrees. If you're looking across the region, though, for Saturday, 78 in the city with, again, those spotty shower chances. Up towards the Poconos, we'll see 68 with mostly cloudy skies. That will be our best chance to see some sun today will be in the Pocono Mountains. If you're down the shore, watch for 72 and, again, scatter showers through the day. Overnight tonight, with that uh, patchy fog developing, temperatures will be hovering in the mid-60s for the most part. Could even be near 70, though down towards the shore. Our future weather takes you through Saturday afternoon where we'll keep the umbrellas handy with scattered showers across the region pretty much all day. And then a little bit of drizzle develops with some fog heading into Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon we'll get a chance for some sunshine, but it will not be a day of full sunshine. Future weather though still shows a couple of scattered clouds obscuring that uh, sun in the afternoon tomorrow. 78 today, 80 degrees on Sunday. And then we will get a couple of shower and thunderstorm changes, Jan, early next week. Temperatures eventually do drop back back down into the 60s by Thursday. All right, Matt, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on cbsphilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.